Hi, this is Sandy Claire. Welcome to Origami STEAM. STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. Today we are going to finally fold the iris. I've been working hard on this, trying to master it, and I finally mastered it. It's pretty much, if you know how to fold the origami crane, it's upside down. And you'll be able to see that comparison once you start folding these. It's a little hard, a little challenging, but you'll do it. First thing, I like to start with a nice thin piece of origami paper. One side is white, and one side could be blue. Uh, normally it should be purple, for a purple iris, but we're going to use a nice baby blue for this one today. Okay, take your paper, keep the white on the inside, fold an isosceles triangle as best you can. Take your nail, make sure it's nice and crispy cream there. Fold it again. And we are going to fold a bird base. This is how you do it. This is the way I do it. There's other ways to fold it, but we open. You see this? You put your finger in there in one of the ears. It reminds me of a little fox. And you squash it down. Do you see that? Put your finger all the way as far as it'll go. And you'll, you'll fold it right there. And flip it over. See that? Now, fold this over. Do you see that crease fold right there? Here. You bend it. It's already folded, so it's a pre-fold. So look at it, it looks like a, like a little sailboat. Now you put your finger in the sail and squash it down, and you have a bird base. Okay, how's that? Now normally, if you were going to make a paper crane, you would start folding it like this, but for the iris, the open end has to be on the top, because that's these are going to be your petals that you're going to pull down. So the open end is on the top, and you're only going to fold in one side. Okay, one side for pre-fold. Open it, bend it to the center, and watch this. I'm going to turn it around so I can put my finger back inside here. You see that? And you squash it down. Look at that. It kind of looks like an ice cream cone. See that? Okay, I'd like to make this nice and crisp there. Now flip it over, and you're going to take another one, another flap, and go right across that vertical. You're going to do this fold four times because there are four petals to the flower. Here we go again. Up. Make it stand up. See that fold? This is where, when you put your finger in, it will squash down. Look at that. See that? Okay. Now, once you get that, you got a flap here and a flap here. I'm going to turn this over and move this one to the middle. This is flap number three. Back again. Squash it down. Try to keep your paper on the table. When I teach, I usually like to hold it up, but it, it might open up and get you confused. Turn it over, and look at that. We're going to fold this one over now. This is the last one. Okay, get that back up again. If you're not sure, just pause the video. This is one of those folds that, once you get it, it's, it's easy. It takes your time, though. Okay, now, once we get this, you see that? I have four on one side and four flaps on this side. What I want to do is turn one over till it looks like a kite. There's no horizontal folds. And let's put this one here. Okay, now we have four on this side, four on that side. All the pockets are inside. Leave them in there, okay? Now we'll take this point, go to the top, make a pre-fold. This is nice. I like leaving that pre-fold here. Now next, what you're going to do is take this and fold it down. Right here. Here's the trickiest part. You're going to make 
like a scalene triangle. You're going to stick your finger in there and go along that vertical and do it on both sides. Look at this one. See how I'm pushing my finger in there? If you're familiar with the, um, the crane, paper crane, you'll understand this wing fold. Now that's done. Flip it over and do it again on this side. You're going to be folding it right about here. Put your finger in there. See that? And squash it. you got to take your time. If you go fast, you'll just smash it. Look at that. It, it actually wants to be a scaling style triangle. Okay. Look at that. Now, that's two. Now, we're going to have to make two more. So, what I'm going to do is look for those. So, see that? There's your other. That's number three and number four. Okay. We're going to do number three. Pull it down again and put your finger in there. Squash. And whoop, you got to watch that in here. See that? Now, here comes the last one. Flip it over. Flip and put this, take the pedal and go down. So, with the crane, you're doing this twice. With the iris, you're doing this four times because there are four petals to the iris. Now, that's a little kink there. See if you can work that out. Put your finger in there. The origami paper seems to work the best on this. I haven't tried foil, but I'm thinking this is the best because of the white on one side and the blue on the other. Now, wingtips are going to go up. All the way up, just like in a crane. Now, we're going to flip up this side, too. Okay, these sides are going to go up until it's smooth. All this garbage in here, I call it, is going to be inside. See that? Let's take a look. Whoop, flip that up. All four petals have to be up. Yeah, there you go. There's the top. Now, the, this is the base. This is the open end. So let's make the base a little bit skinnier. And we're going to do that again four times. Okay, flip it over. I have, I have to call out Jessica again, one of my students. She's, once again, she's the one that showed me how to fold the iris. It took me a very long time to learn, but I can say I know how now. Now, once you have this, now you're gonna, you're gonna put all that inside, all that garbage inside, and make sure you have a nice, nice triangle there. Do you see that? Make that one skinny. All right. Almost done. This is almost it. This is the fun part. Now, if you don't use origami paper, you could use white paper. You can spray paint it. I've spray painted a lot of these so far with gold and silver and all different colors. Now, here's your stem. Here's the top. Here's where you kind of peel it like a banana a little bit. You see that? I'm going to pull each one down. What's really going to make it look nice is you're going to take a pencil and go like this, roll it under. Oh, I'm going to do it one more time. Got to roll it under and then pull it out. Okay, one more. Once you get good at this, you can make a lot of them. You can give them as gifts and they look very, very complicated. <laughs> Believe me, but they are, they are pretty much complicated. Alrighty, here we go. This is it, almost done. The last, whoop, come on, get in there. The last curl. Now, you pull these out a little bit, and watch what happens. I'm gonna take a little piece of tape. You take your pencil, and you stick it right down there. Go like this. Look at that. Got a perfect gift for someone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How's that? You can spray it with perfume. You can spray paint it with gold or silver. They're really pretty too. Oh, you can have an entire okay. Here are some traditional rice paper. But if you're new at folding this, I would recommend start with the large paper. I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. 
Tell your friends about my videos and please comment. I want to know what it's like. How was your experience? Have a great one. See you next time. Good night.